Me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host, Cornish. Did you have a good Christmas? I certainly did. I fell asleep at three o'clock. Oh, my God, it was wonderful. So, with my friends and I, we were looking for a game that is similar to Mario Party. Now, there is a game similar to Mario Party. And I tell you what, it's one of the wackiest games I've played in a long time, and that is Pommel Party. So what can we say about Pommel Party, really? It's a four to eight player online local multiplayer party game. So if you know your Mario Party games, you know you have to collect coins in order to buy stars. And in the end of the game, uh, the most people who've gathered enough stars is the winner. Same goes for Pommel Party with keys and crowns. And you think that's pretty easy? Oh, no, 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 no. There are many people that can deceive you. Even your friends, you think you're, that your best is best friends. Even your partner, who is the most genius person of that game. Oh. What a toasty! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> but, with that being said, let's get into the video and tell you some of the features. So let's start off with the map itself, the board game. So, there are many different platforms, and each platform can be good, bad, or ugly. Or even world events. World events can change the map layout around, which is pretty cool. Um, you've got like maze changing in certain areas of the Christmas special, or in the part area, the, the seas decides to go red, just like the whole Egypt thing. And there's many more maps, not even I have gone through yet, which I will do on the New Year's Eve live stream. I cannot wait. So some of the platforms you can step on are either items, which we'll get into in the, in the next segment. With the other platforms, there are the Grim Reaper platforms where you stand on. If you stand on it for the first time, the Grim Reaper will offer you its place. So for anyone who steps on it, can either get damaged or you can change it around and ask for people for keys. Uh, just like a Monopoly board when you step on a, someone else's house. There are key earnings on it as well, and there are key decreasing, which also damages your player, which we will get into in a minute. There are also special presents, which are filled with weaponry that are pretty OP, but fun as well. Uh, you can only use the items once, by the way. I must warn you on that one. So again, your object is to get as much keys as you can around the board and wherever the crown is, you need to get to that and have enough. I think it's around total 40. You can change it in the rules section, but I think 40 is the normal amount of keys you need to collect. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm a happy boy. <laughs> there are many ways of getting these keys. There are either on the board, uh, deceiving your players, deceiving your friends, either damaging them to the point they die. And if they lose enough blood, they will lose all their keys and get transported into the graveyard area where they need to get back their keys before anyone else can grab them. It's a pretty harsh game and it's not very unforgiving. <laughs> your friends who you have known for for a long time will definitely show their true colors at you on this one. It's, it's fun. Don't worry. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh, nicely played, mate. <laughs> nicely played. 
lovely blade. So let's talk about some of the items. I'm going to give you some of the information because there are quite a few weapons on there and other things to collect as an item, which I think... I don't want to kind of spoil it all, but I'll give you some examples. Uh, you've got the portal, which you can swap places with other players around the map. You've got a bee's nest, where you can just drop on their head and damage them completely. Uh, you've also got magnet, which can steal keys from other people without damaging them. Or, if you're close enough, the old boxing glove. Oh, f*** <laughs> me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Now let's talk about the mini games. Another way to earn the keys is by completing mini games and becoming first. So each round of the game will end up having a random mini game for all four players to play, or eight players, it's up to you. And I tell you what, it's absolute mayhem. And whoever comes first gets the most keys and even an item. But the mini games, there are some insane mini games. There's one where you have to go up a road and all these cars and tanks are flying down. And you've got to try and dodge them and get to the furthest at the end uh, within the time limit. And whoever gets to the at the end is the winner. There are so many mini games on there, um, which are uh, very fun. I can't tell you how many there are because every week or every month, I believe, they're always adding new games, new games, new maps, new items. We're going to get around to that near the end of the video again. Man, there's so much to talk about. With maps, there are also seasonal maps. There are summer maps. There are winter maps. There are Christmas maps. There's even other maps they've made and many more that will come out each month. Uh, with the current update of the game, uh, it's not even in early access. They're just updating and adding new content without being a DLC. So you're all getting it for free. There are no microtransactions on here. Um, the way to unlock stuff is by playing the heck out of it a bit more, doing, I guess, different challenges to earn different colored capes, like Retrowave or something else like that. There are also different customizations like hats, goggles, um, face masks, you name it. You can, there is so much to pick from. I will be posting a link down in the description of an entire game we played. It lasted about at least an hour, but if you really want to see what it's like, you should check that out. With the constant update, they are not stopping at all. Um, if you take a look on this other scene right here, you'll see they did, recently did a winter update, which is awesome. Bounding blocks, that was fun. Haven't tried that one yet, but this one was my favorite, the Fractured Faces. These are the mini games. They keep adding loads of different ones. But the main thing they're going to be adding to this is the new maps, new mini games, and even workshop. So you guys can make your own weapons, map, world events, mini games, the works. You know, you could fully design what you want to do. And that I think is gonna be exciting for this game. As you can see here, you can do all sorts. And I, I love developers that could put their time and effort into stuff like this and give it to the people and see what they come up with, you know? But honestly, I'm loving this game. And if you are looking for a game for your friends at a party or you want to play a couch game, but want to play it on PC and you've all got controller support, this is a game you want to get. If you've got a Discord group and you're looking for a game to play with each other, you need to check this game out, honestly. And for $15.38 and in UK price £11.39p, um, it's, it's really worth it. It really, really is. Because at the end of the day, if you're looking for something that is not a Jackbox party or any other game, you're looking for more of a, a board game-ish, but extreme fun style. If you like your Worms games and Mario Party, you know, this definitely needs to be in your collection. But another cool feature they have added, I can't stress this enough, remote play together. So if one person has one game, you all could share the same screen. That's how cool this game is. All for free, by the way. You know, you could get up to, I guess, four other players to 
play on one screen uh, with remote play. And that is it for Pommel Party. Don't forget, I have an entire game session. Uh, will be on my Cornish Games Night page. The link will be down in the description of that stage. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I do apologize. It's been a week since I've uploaded here because of Christmas. But I'm feeling like next year is going to be absolutely insane. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. To see your comments recently, it's been absolutely amazing. I've been replying to as much people as I can uh, and help in any way. And if you have anything to comment down, please put a comment down below. And thank you again. Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.